NFL Gambling Picks Week Number Dos. Let's jump in. Tunica, Mississippi is the South's premier sports gambling destination. There ain't nothing like it nowhere. Watch and wager on all these games on on Sunday, on Thursday night, on Monday night. Look, go out there all weekend. Go to Tunica. Watch and wager on the games at any of Tunica's five, soon to be six, wonderful, amazing sports books. We've been to all of them. They're all great. Okay. Horseshoe, Gold Strike, Samstown, Hollywood First Jackpot, soon to be the Fitz Casino. Get more information over at tunicatravel.com. You can get the picks at winningcureseverything.com. Let's jump in. You want me to roll first? You go want ahead. to go first? No, you got it. Oh, I got first. Okay. Look, first off for me, the Colts at the Redskins. The Redskins are laying five. 12 p.m. on CBS, Alex Smith looked absolutely legit last week. He is Mr. September. 21 out of 30, 255 yards, two touchdowns. The Colts defense allowed Andy Dalton to go 21 of 28 for 243 yards and two touchdowns last week. The Colts gave up 5.1 yards per carry. They got demolished on the line by the Bengals, and the Redskins have a better line, offensive and defense. The Colts are weak across those lines. The Redskins are going to win this one in the trenches. Five points ain't near enough. Take Alex Smith. Take them boys. Five points. Let's roll. The first game I'm giving you is the Carolina Panthers. I do not believe in Steve Sarkeesian. I do not believe in Dan Quinn. I do not believe in this Falcons team. Even at home? I don't care. Oh, by the way, I, I went 3-2 and two in week one. He went 4-1 and one against the spread. So, both winning weeks. He's a little better than me right now. i got to catch picked, up this week. Picked up extra tickets on the Bengals. Cashed it. Patriots. Cashed it. Parlayed those. Cashed them. Anyway. Believe it. I, I like the Panthers. I, I I know that their offensive line's not real good. Um, What's the line on that game? Uh, they're plus five and a half is what I saw Ooh, that this evening. Right. And and I I just I think I think they're going to win the game. I think they're the better team. I don't respect. Um, I just don't respect. The, you know this Falcons, Falcons. team. I, I think Sark is way outside of his league, and and Dan Quinn's really good at making defensive adjustments. I, I think this could be low scoring. Um, That's, I was thinking about taking the under on this. Yeah, the over-under is, what, uh, 44 yeah, right now? Yeah, and, so. I, and I think it could go under that because I just don't – man, I just don't trust. I just don't trust the Falcons' offense at all. I, I now, don't blame you. I would tell you this. If Luke Keekley is out, I'm, I'm walking away from this game. I will wait till closer to game time to make this bet. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Dolphins at the Jets is game number two for me. Jets minus three, which – Almost looks like a misprint sometimes, you know? I, I don't know many times that they've been favored. Uh, in, yeah, the in the last couple of years, yeah. no. Uh, 12 p.m. on Fox. Uh, look, Jets defensive coordinator Casey Rogers has always fielded strong defenses since 2015 when he got there. What he did to the Lions on Monday night was borderline criminal. Yeah, he, he ought to be ashamed of himself. Five picks in the game. Be- just – and. And they came out and said afterwards it was the best week of preparation they've ever had. They knew exactly what plays were being run. They knew. You think they're not going to know what to do with Ryan Tannehill? Yeah. I think that Jets defense is going to be fired up. I do believe that the crowd Jets, is going to be crazy. Yeah, the Jets finally have a stable quarterback that provides their defense a little break from the field. I have to believe that the two rain delays in week one that made that game versus the Titans for the Dolphins a seven-plus-hour affair will probably affect them a little bit this week. Maybe. Possibly. Jets but fans look, just haven't had anything to cheer about. That home, no. field, that home field advantage will be insane. The Jets minus three. Take it to the bank. Let's go. No, I like that pick. I like it a lot. Man, I think we got a lot of the same picks. I'm trying to stay away from some of these because I got six, seven games written down. I'm going to give you the Giants. I'm fading the Cowboys. I told you earlier I'm fading the Cowboys all <laughs> fading year. Fading Jason Garrett. The Giants are catching three points at Jerry World. Look, I don't care where they play this game, okay? The, the, Eli is going to go into Cowboys Stadium. He wins in Cowboys Stadium more than he loses. It, it, he's not afraid of this. Dak has figured out that he's not real good at quarterback sometimes. And Jason Garrett's not going to coach. He's going to stand on the sidelines. They're going to prepare all week. And then no matter what happens, they will make no adjustments. I believe that Pat Shermer will absolutely make adjustments. 
I think they're going to win the game. I think they're going to win it straight out. I cannot believe this was a three-point line. I can't believe I'm catching points. Game number three for me. And I think you probably agree with this one. Chiefs plus five at the Steelers, 12 p.m. on CBS. I've got four noon games this week. Four noon games. Uh, Look, the Browns showed that you can throw the football on the Steelers defense, but we've already known that because big play quarterbacks make big plays against this defense on the regular. They have for years. Steelers had six turnovers against the Browns. The Chiefs offense is going to take, uh, or sorry, Chiefs defense is going to take advantage of that. Um, they are going to get some turnovers in this ball game. They just are. Go on and take that to the bank. If you, if you got prop bets, go on and jump on that one because there's going to be Pittsburgh turnovers. Uh, the Steelers may win, but all signs point to this being about a field goal game. And I might put a little money on the money line because I, I, I think What'd it's going to pay out pretty well. I got well. it plus three, uh, uh, five and a half. I got it plus five. Okay. I saw it at plus five and a half earlier. That means people are still in the Steelers. I don't know why. I, I don't I've, understand. I've got this game as well. Chiefs win. Andy Reid's a better coach. Pat Mahomes is a better quarterback. You know, I, I they're, a, they're a better team. Antonio Brown is a freak. Other now, here's than, the deal, Other though. than Antonio Brown, all of the edges go to the Chiefs. The Steelers have won six of the last seven against the Chiefs. But, like, no Le'Veon Bell again. Like, we don't know what's going on with that. Mm, it makes things a little hairy. Five points is way too much here. I got the Rolling Chiefs cheeks. as well. Okay. Uh, you want to do your uh, your number four then? I think it's the same as you. I think, I think I'm think i going to the Chargers. We, but Chargers minus seven. Is that Chargers, what you got them I got them at seven and a half. Do not care about that. It the doesn't hook. matter about that. Not worried about that. doesn't matter. They, they tell you don't take a West Coast team playing the noon game on the East Coast. But that was before this Bills team. That's right. Okay, Josh Allen and Nathan Peterman combined were 11 of 33 for 98 yards, no touchdowns, two interceptions. Allen's QBR was at least like 33.9. Peterman's QBR was... It registered was a number. 0.7. Yeah. This Chargers defense is going to feast because they feel disrespected by what Pat Mahomes did. That's right. They're going to take it out on this Bills team. I, I really hate that Joey Bosa's out, and he, he could be out for a long time. But I, I don't know that you need Bosa. I think Ingram will do fine. That all they have to do is pretty much bottle up Shady and you're you're golden. This Bills team is bad. Real bad. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's anything less than double digits, I'm I'm gonna be, I'm gonna fade the Bills all year. I think I'm probably gonna do the same. Uh you wanna close with your last one? Or do you have a last one? No, I have. No, I definitely have a last one. Okay. I had I had the skins as well. I'm probably gonna have money on them. I like that pick. I'm gonna go to Chicago and my new, one of my new favorite people in the whole world to watch, Cleo Mack wearing a Bears jersey just makes me smile. <laughs> Man, he is good. Russell Wilson's got a bad offensive line. He's gonna be missing his number one weapon in in Doug Baldwin. I think it's going to get ugly for my boy Hustle and Bustle Russell. I think Khalil Mack is going to eat him alive. I don't know that it's going to be close. They're laying three. Seattle might play it close. Their defense is better than Green Bay's defense. But but I, I, think, I think this Bears team is going to get things right. They were so close to beating a, a, an Aaron Rodgers team that people had picked going to the Super Bowl. I think they're going to get it figured out this week. Seattle's, At home. Seattle's not what, what everyone thinks they are. What and, is that? Is uh, that the Monday night game? That is the Monday night game. Yeah, Monday night Correct. game. So you got to wait all the way till Monday night to see if you hit that thing. I'm okay with that. Uh, let's see. The Cardinals at the Rams are my last pick. Rams minus 13. 3.05 p.m. Central on Fox. The Cardinals could not get anything going on offense in a 24-6 to home loss to the Redskins. After a subpar offense are showing against the Raiders, I think L.A. is going to get their offense going again. It's a it's a very confused-looking Cardinals defense right now, uh, at least in game one. Cardinals' offensive line got pushed around. Their defense is switching uh, schemes. They don't have the linebackers to run the scheme that they want to run. Uh, it's the, the guy from uh, from Carolina, mm-hmm. and, and they don't have the same linebackers in Arizona. They had – They don't have Keekley. Yeah, they just – I mean, yeah. They don't have him. So, so many of these defenses are so Rely dependent on one, player. on one guy. Von Miller is the absolute linchpin in Denver. Yeah. Joey Bosa is the key 
in 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 San Diego in L.A. for the Chargers. <laughs> God, I'm always going to call them San Diego for the rest of my life. The Rams here are going to take care of business. Yeah, this they weekend. don't they don't lean on one guy. No, they got a bunch of dudes. Got, they got a bunch of dudes. Wade Phillips yeah. will find the weaknesses, and there are plenty on Arizona right now. Minus thirteen, still not enough points. I know it's a lot to lay. Don't care. Minus thirteen is a winner. Take it to the bank, baby. Is that all, all we right. got? That's all I got, man. I, I I'm excited for week two. Yeah, I think it's a lot of fun. I think uh, I, I think we're gonna have a lot of good games. I, I'm feeling good. I went three and two last week. I want to improve a little bit. I'm planning five and zero oh every week, cash and checks, baby. Am I right? Yeah, I, I'm. I'm excited. I'm gonna play a couple <laughs> more games than this. If we- you hadn't already picked in the pick'em contest, go to the website winningcureseverything.com. Check that thing out. It's up in the top right corner. It says Football Picks Contest. Easy enough, right? So go do that thing. This week's contest, you are getting a $100 dining uh, certificate, whatever, to Hollywood Casino and a $50 slot play to Hollywood Casino. So sign up. Check that thing out. Hit subscribe. There you go. Hit subscribe. 